with the GoCurrency.com sports ticker. I'm Tim Mulhaupt on the Huskers radio network. Happy Tuesday, Huskers fans. Earlier today, Nebraska football saw three players receive Big Ten recognition for their efforts this season. Edge rusher Gary Nelson was named to the conference second defensive team by both the media and coaches. Linebacker Luke Reimer was also named by both the media and coaches as an honorable mention. And defensive back Quentin Newsom earned coaches honorable mention for his role in the Huskers defense this season. Over to college basketball in the ACC Big Ten Men's Basketball Challenge tonight just underway. Number 22 Maryland is battling Louisville and Penn State is taking on Clemson. Both those games just getting started. At 6.30, Syracuse will tip off against 15th ranked Illinois. And at 8 p.m., Georgia Tech battles Iowa and Wake Forest meets Wisconsin. Finally, at 8.30, third-ranked Virginia Tech meets Michigan. In pro sports, at the World Cup today, Team USA outlasted Iran. Christian Pulisic's, Pulisic's goal advanced the Americans to the round of 16, where they'll play the Netherlands this Saturday. In the NBA tonight at 6.30 p.m., the Warriors will attempt to improve their road woes tonight in Dallas against the Mavs. And at 9 p.m., it's a West Coast showdown between the 12-9 and 9 Clippers and the 11-9 and 9 Portland Trailblazers. In the NHL, just underway, the Battle of Atlantic Division Powers as the Tampa Bay Lightning are in Boston to scrap with the Bruins. And at 7 p.m., the Colorado Avalanche take on the Winnipeg Jets. This update is presented by Currency. Does your business need help financing big-ticket items like equipment, trucks, and trailers? Currency is here to help. Visit GoCurrency.com. For details, that's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and Sports Nightly is next on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Here's Greasel with the ball. Starts down the right side. Good, quick move. Puts it up and in off the window. Super finish by Sam Greasel. He's got four. Back to throw is McCarthy. Gets hit by Garrett Nelson and brought down. There's a big Mac sack. Line drive serve. Nicklin twinkles the twine. Diving pass. Quick attack of Maya Jones. Blocked. Kaylin Hard, the best in the business. Two luck. Kowski. Here come the Huskers quickly up the floor, leading four to two. Shelly down the right lane line, angles in and it counts. And a foul. She went about 80 feet that time for an in one. And now Bandamil on a steal. Bandamil right past one defender. All the way to the rack, puts it up and in. It's a two point goal on a steal and a transition two by Bandamil. He is fast. Jack back right side, on top. Blocked! Covered by Gunner Popcorn on that one. Keelan Horn. Allie Badenhorst swings her fist in the air. It's 27-26 Huskers. And back to throw is Morgan. Stepping up, gets hit, dropped. Oh, he got drilled at the 18-yard line. Ty Robinson's second sack of the year. Down low, this is Markowski. Out to Widener, left wing, three. You betcha, off the assist from Alexis Markowski. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. USA. USA. Woo! That was fun today. Did you watch any of that? I watched a little bit of it, yeah. Yeah. They're on to the knockout phase. Good I, I honestly didn't need to. You guys were updating with um, we weren't gifts. Scores, though. You were you yes. were I knew everything that was going on by what gifts you guys were sending in the group text. <laughs> I, I totally knew everything that was happening. That was I pretty could, cool. I could have not watched a single second, probably could give a full breakdown on and you guys didn't have any words. You just were tweeting back and or texting back and forth gifts man it was intense at the end because if they tied they would they would have been over they've been done they've been right out. they had to win and they were hanging on for dear life at the end of the match so they move on to the knockout phase they get the dutch on saturday morning so that's who they play the netherlands how do you like that matchup I think it'll be pretty Maybe even, Andrew. actually. I think it'll be fairly even. I think the Dutch have beat them in a lot of their friendlies they've played over the last several years. But I think they have a shot. So It's kind of crazy how, you know, I mean, the men, they've been so bad and irrelevant. And now they're kind of... Yeah. I mean, At least but make this top sixteen. It's That's what this the is. the way that people have so much interest now that they're actually kind of kind okay, of competitive. That they made it and right. that they're kind of competitive. Look how much well, uh, they've brought people together. I mean, my social media is just blowing up. So Everybody's many, supporting them. So many kids are playing soccer now. There's yeah. no reason we shouldn't be fairly competitive on the world stage. Yeah. 25, 30 years ago, no, hardly anybody played soccer, youth soccer, but they do now. And so there's we we're a big enough country. We ought to have good enough athletes to compete on the world stage. Yeah, and 
I, I mean, obviously, I'm no expert. I, ne I didn't play. I was not the kid that played soccer. I didn't well, you were in a smaller community, and those don't generally have soccer yeah. programs. No, I didn't play. I would be awful. I wouldn't even want to, like, try to run out there on a soccer field. But I have a tremendous respect because it is a lot oh, of running. A lot of running, yeah. They are revealing the latest college football playoff poll. This is the last one before the one that counts. <laughs> They're into the top 10. Penn State's all the way up to number eight. And they, I guess they should be. They're 10 and two. They just quietly, nobody's talking Nobody about them. them. Nobody's Except paying attention. The Buckeyes and the, and the Wolverines are the yeah. only two teams that were able to beat them this year. So they're up into the top 10. They're and they've actually good. played a decent, they played a decent non-con. They went to Auburn. Yes, and then they played somebody else in the non-conference, I thought. Or they opened up. Purdue. Yes. They opened with Purdue. Yeah. So they, um, because for as much gripe as Michigan didn't play anybody, at least at least Penn State tried to schedule a decent they did. power five. That's exactly right, where Michigan did not. But Michigan, sir, got it back by the way they beat the Buckeyes. Yes, for right, sure. So the top six is what we're missing. Jessica, these people on this particular network that is revealing the, the poll... <laughs> They are going to make a strong push to try to get Alabama into that Final Four should USC or TCU get beat this weekend. You watch. They're going to try to push the Crimson Tide down everybody's throats. Or LSU. Can't do it. Out. Well, LSU is going to get beat by Georgia. Georgia. And LSU oh, lost. so are you giving us a little preview of your picks well, for the weekend? Well, like 16. I don't <laughs> think I'm on, on that big of a limb. Uh, it's like me going on the limb and saying Ernest Hausman might be a good football player. <laughs> the But LSU lost to a and the other night. So they had their third. So they're way out. Okay. LSU's yeah, way out now. True. Uh, but, yeah, the top six, five and six, are going to be Ohio State and Alabama. Ohio State's got to be ahead of Alabama. They only have the one loss. But you just watch. ESPN's going to try to push – that SEC team in there. Yeah, but to me, like, hey, see how it goes. This year you actually have some good storylines outside of the ones that you've always had. Right. Maybe this will help draw, uh, you know, again, draw some storylines, some different viewers that will pay attention that wouldn't have before. Because, I mean, everybody's tired of seeing Alabama every year and Clemson every year. Like, you actually yeah. going to have some different teams there. So let's um, let's not push it. Let's just go with the, with what we got. But and, don't you sense there's some upsets oh, coming this weekend? Probably. Like, I, I'm, I don't think... TCU, I, I wouldn't. I am on the fence here, but I'm not so sure TCU can get it done uh, over Kansas State. I know, I know. And I don't think they'll put TCU in if, even though I think TCU's had an impressive resume. In fact, somebody did the statistical analysis of the schedule that they have played. Very few teams would have been undefeated. Like less than one percent of teams would have been undefeated. They are. Yeah. So they've. they've they ought to be able to have a little room to wiggle here, but my guess is they don't. Especially playing a team twice. Like, to me, if they, they've already beat Kansas State, and they beat them handily. No, they by came 10. back. They came uh, back okay. the second half so, by 10. But um, to me, if it's a close game, because you have to consider the fact that you're playing a team twice in college football, that's really, really hard to do. Especially Kansas State is ranked in the top 10. Right. So to me, if TCU barely loses to Kansas State, they should have done enough I agree. to be in that top four. SC is four. They do have a loss. They have to play somebody for the second time. They play Utah yeah. in the Pac-12 title Which game. that will right there wrong. And that's happened. To, that happened to Lincoln Riley at Oklahoma several that's times. Right. That when it was Texas, the year that Kyler Murray, they got into the college football playoff, Texas beat them in the Red River showdown. And then they got to come back and avenge that loss of the Big 12 championship. And that's what got OU in. So here's Lincoln Riley is in the same situation he's been in. He's done an amazing job. He really has. I mean, and that roster was... They had nobody, they, no talent. Right. Everybody left. Like, their numbers are still low. Yeah. They don't have a full 85, I don't think. The top four are what you would think, folks. It's Georgia 1, Michigan 2, TCU 3, USC 4, Ohio State 5, and Bama is at 6. And so all those, t the top six, the only one that doesn't play this weekend is Alabama. They did not make the SEC title game, so they're just going to sit back. And if a couple of upsets happen ahead of them, you watch, mark my words, these people are going to try to push them into the deal. And I think that would be a crime if they did. If they, if they jumped over a TCU, let's say TCU loses, and they jump TCU, that's just wrong. Yeah, it really is. Because 
TCU is playing on championship Saturday. They are. And, and that's a big argument that, that a lot of coaches have said that if you are not playing on championship Saturday, your team should not be in the consideration for the college football playoff. I agree with that. I agree. Alabama is getting to have this week off. They're not playing a team twice. They're not playing a, a, an opponent like Georgia. They are literally getting to sit at home. What, how, what Watch. have they done Correct. To, can, to be able to move up into that conversation? Now, Ohio State, if somebody loses, if like SC loses a second time, I think the Buckeyes should get in ahead of USC. Yeah. Because then they'd have two losses. Yeah. That I could be okay with. But TCU is the one that's going to be really interesting to watch. Uh, for the week. The all Big Ten defensive teams were announced today. Garrett Nelson, second team. Good for good for Garrett to be honored and both the media and the coaches saw it that way. That means they recognize how hard that kid plays and how well that young man plays week in and week out. Luke Reimer, Quentin Newsom, both got enough votes to be honorable mention in the all-conference big, big 10 team the offense will be announced tomorrow just the defense today but good for those three guys yeah and and you know gary nelson was out there every single game and he made some big plays in some big moments um that probably caught a lot of people's attention i mean he played really well against Iowa and then in, in the win so I, I guarantee you i mean again it's a coach's vote right or is it media both both they but really both today yeah they yeah did. so i mean he he um made some big plays in some big moments which always when people are voting like th that's what sticks out in people's minds a lot of times too so the the offense tomorrow and then also volleyball their all-conference volleyball teams will be announced tomorrow as well and i would imagine the huskers will be pretty well represented is in, tc in or is um trey palmer on the first team no, it's going to be close. you got those yeah. Ohio State wide receivers. Charlie Jones from Purdue caught everything all season long. There's a good – he at least – my guess is he'll be second team. But it'll be really close for him. Uh, Jim Harbaugh, coach of the year. Any problem with that? No. They lost a lot of guys, and they go back and win the league again. I, yeah. I don't well, and, and remember last year it was like he was going to the NFL, right, for a while? The Vikings. <laughs> yeah. The Vikings kicked the yeah. tires on him. So uh, – there was some kind of some turmoil, and he kept the team together, and here they are. And, and boy, they were – that was an impressive win over Ohio State. It really was. Sure was. The way they go into their house, they fell behind early, and then they just dominated the second half uh, of that game on Saturday. Uh, so Michigan looks, looks really strong. And if you're Michigan, you, you want a rematch with Georgia, but you don't want it until the championship game. You want to be right. on the other side of the bracket Oh yeah, from, from those guys. All right, tonight, Dusty Dvorak, you talked to him yesterday. We're going to hear that conversation, his thoughts about Matt Rule. Yeah, and really insightful, too, because, again, he has a, a neat perspective and a unique perspective in the fact that he played at Oklahoma in the early 2000s when and, and faced some of Nebraska's, they had some battles. It was really close to when Nebraska was, was really a dominant. And so um, he has a perspective of when Nebraska was, was really good and, and at the top of college football. And then he also um, was a Texas high school football kid. So he has a perspective of, of that pipeline. He's an ESPN college football analyst. He also covers NFL games. So literally NFL, high school football in Texas, college football, Nebraska. I mean, he's got a good perspective of all of it. So, um, yeah, really got to dive into all of that with him and, and why he thinks Coach Rule is, is going to be a good fit for Nebraska. There's some a lot of scuttlebutt about some assistant coaches being added to the staff. Nothing official yet from Nebraska Athletics. Once that happens, we'll certainly share that with you. But there's a lot out there that positions are being filled, which is not surprising. And I would guess by the weekend, he'll basically have this staff put together. I loved his tweet early this morning. Right. He obviously stepped out of the stadium and took a shot of the five national championships that are lit up at the stadium just to let people know, hey, I'm at work. It was I'm like here. at 5 a.m. Yep, not surprised and at all. And he probably left at like midnight or 1. Probably so. So he's working yeah. hard. We, we know all that, folks, but until it, it becomes official on who these guys are that are being added to the staff, we just can't uh, really get into that. So, But we, we're tracking that. And uh, a lot of great work being done by the journalists who cover Husker football about all that as and, well. But from the rumors and what we've seen so far, definitely putting together a staff that can recruit. That's, right. that's for sure. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Sam in Omaha is worried about you. Is Jessica under the weather? Hope she feels better. You guys did a great job with Coach Rule yesterday. No, well, thanks. I am a million times better. Sam, you might not have heard me on Saturday or Friday at the game, but um, I was uh, in pretty bad shape on, on during the game. But I am I'm on the mend. I just still just sound a little nasally is all, but I'm, I'm good to go. Yeah. 
It's that see, it's that time of year, right? It's head yeah. cold season. That's I hadn't been sick is. since before COVID because everybody was wearing a mask for so long, yeah. and I for, kind of forgot what it felt like, and I did not like it very much. But uh, yeah, it seems like a lot of people have had it, and it's going around, and I'm glad it's I got it over with. Folks, buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. If you'd like to be a part of the program with a call or a text, you know the numbers, right? 402. 402- 413-2400. Sam in Omaha, Irv and Scott. Irv's like, are you going to talk about the Iowa game? That, that's we the bad, talked about that's that. That's the bad thing, and you and I mm-hmm. talked about it yesterday. Like, that's the bad thing is the memory of that game is going to fade away because of the rural announcement yesterday. It's just, it's like a forgotten thing, and I, 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 that makes me feel bad for the kids and the, the coaches of that team at that time because that was a fun afternoon in, in Iowa City. And it was a really impressive performance. I mean, you're talking about an Iowa team is headed to the Big Ten championship That's right. game. They had a lot to play for. And, um, you know, and, and a top ten defense and on the road. And that was this team. We had seen all, how many times had we seen flashes of the defense looking really good and the offense looking really good. And they hadn't put together a complete game. And they finally were able to, to put together a complete game and, and look what happens. And so, yeah, I um, – Love the way they came out. They were fired up. They knew it was their last time to get to play together. And and I was so glad and happy to see those seniors that, you know, just to see their faces the last week walking off the field after Wisconsin and how devastated they were. And then to get to see how elated they were, it, that was um, really awesome to see. I was so happy for Travis Vokalek and, you know, Chris Klarvik made a – he stepped up big time. Those inside linebackers, wow. That Without was the story Luke of the Reimer game, right? Play, yeah, that was good. You know, and all the Iowa people are like, well, we're missing so many guys. Yeah, our two inside starting linebackers aren't playing. And so, I mean, our entire starting offensive line yeah. at this point. Like, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. we had a lot of injuries, Absolutely. Too. The guy that made a, a, a guest appearance on our stream yesterday hasn't played all year. No, right. so, That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, there's multiple – I mean, come on. Um, what three potentially starting Kevin Williams, three potentially starting offensive linemen that did not didn't play two of them hardly played at all all year. Yeah. So I mean, injuries are part of it, and you got to battle the way through. Heck, we didn't have Casey Thompson for the second half of the Illinois game or the entire Minnesota game and or so, Michigan or Michigan. So I mean, hey, you got to fight your way through all of that. If you want to be a part of it again, our hotline number 402-413-2400. Our hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way uh, from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. Let's uh, chat with Drew before we go to our first break. Good evening, Drew. How are you? Good. How are you guys doing tonight? Great, thanks. Good. Hey, I just I guess I wanted to take your guys' uh, take on whether or not Mickey Joseph is going to stay. Um, we all think Mickey Joseph has done a great job. My question is whether or not Matt Rule is going to consider Mickey, you know, to stay on. He's a great recruiter. Um, he can do a lot of great things for us. But, you know, two games in, is Matt Rule going to want to – have Mickey Joseph on the sideline and, you know, hear the booze if we don't do well. I just kind of want to hear what you guys think about keeping Mickey on. I think everyone in Nebraska loves Mickey. I just want to know, is it what's best for Matt Rule in the long term if Mickey stays on? Just like to hear what you guys like to say. All right, Drew. Thanks. And is it is it what's best for Mickey? I mean, Mickey's got some other options too, and yeah. I think that's the big thing is that they're going to try to figure out is is this the right fit for everybody involved? Is this the right fit for Coach Rule and his staff to have Mickey a part of it? Is it the right fit for Mickey to be a part of it? So I think that's what they're all weighing, and I think they're talking about it. We heard Coach Rule singing Mickey's praises yesterday, but it's got to be the right fit for everybody, and I don't think anybody wants to force it, Mickey included. I don't think Mickey wants to force anything, and, and he wants the best for this program too so I think they just are going to make sure that um, yeah it it works for everybody but Mickey is a heck of a recruiter absolutely he's one of the best in the country but I I mentioned earlier the names that we're seeing that Coach Rule is are bringing in there's some good recruiters in in that list too and so um, yeah I mean obviously be super beneficial but if Mickey's got an opportunity that's better a better fit for him and his family then everybody's got to be supportive of that right Drew, I think you hit on all the points. I mean, you got to be secure from both sides. It's got to work for both parties. I'm sure that they have now talked. They hadn't talked yesterday, 
after the press by the time of the press conference. My guess is they have. I think we'll know one way or the other in the next day or so. All right, need to get a break in. When we come back, Dusty Dvorak from ESPN will be with us next. Hey, honey. Hey, mom. How did Jordan's interview go? I'm not sure. Your brother isn't home yet. Oh, one sec. Someone's at the door. Are you Mrs. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. Lewis, I'm Officer Taylor. Your son was in a crash and has died. What? He wasn't wearing his seatbelt and was ejected from the vehicle. No. No. Someone <laughs> is counting on you to buckle up. Brought to you by NDOT Highway Safety Office. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. It's the Ford Shine Bright Sales Event, and Ford is helping you be a light for others this holiday season. Right now, get special offers on select Ford trucks and SUVs. Come in and choose a vehicle in stock, or simply place a custom order, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Hurry in to your local Ford dealer today and find the Ford vehicle that helps you shine bright all season long. Not all models, trims, or features may be available or may be subject to change. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. It's harvest special time, and you can save $3 per foot or $3,900 per quarter mile system now on a TNL pivot system. Pivots worked long hours this season battling dry weather to save top dollar corn and soybean crops. But did your pivots work like no other? If not, it's time to invest in a reliable, safe, low maintenance TNL irrigation system. Hydrostatic drives move these durable workhorses continuously across fields. So get an irrigation system that works as hard as you do. Contact TNL Irrigation, your local TNL dealer, or visit us online at TLIRR.com. TNL Irrigation Systems like no other. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Agriculture is the economic engine of the Midwest. At Acres Equipment, we dedicate ourselves to making that engine run smoothly. We supply our farmers and ranchers with quality John Deere equipment, parts, and service. We also deliver the most advanced technology and precision ag strategies to help them farm today and for the future. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Bank of the West is offering the first checking account designed for climate action. It gives back 1% of the account's net revenue to the planet at no cost to you. Shows you the estimated carbon impact of debit card purchases. And there's no minimum balance required. Learn more at bankofthewest.com slash 1%. Additional conditions apply. Member FDIC. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Every single day, Central Valley Ag works with our farmers to feed the globe. When you grow non-GMO white corn or non-GMO yellow corn, you can earn up to $250 more per acre. Do the math. Growing CVA value-added grains pays huge dividends. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Learn how you can get up to a $5,000 signing bonus with a value-added grain contract at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska is proud to support Husker Athletics. Having a competent teammate beside you makes all the difference 
when it comes to protecting what matters most. With the proven track record of dependable coverage, unmatched financial strength, and a prompt claim service team right here in Nebraska, that's insurance kept local. Visit FMNE.com to contact an agent for a quote today. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, always alongside you. Launch team just got an ace. She sent another one over. Backpedaling Hinkle the libero. Guides it to her center. Quick attack of Maya Jones. Blocked! Pick Alec. My goodness. Leaping in front, two-handing that one home, and the Huskers are up 18-14. Hey, Huskers fans, this Thursday, Nebraska Volleyball begins their NCAA postseason with a matchup against Delaware State. John Baylor and Lauren Cook-West have the call at 6.30 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Tuesday night. On our text line, Sheila down in Hutch, Hutchinson, Kansas. Any word on who got black shirts yesterday? It's nothing official. You saw a little bit on social media. Miles Farmer apparently got his. Yeah, I guess there were a couple of posts yesterday when they were leaving that some of them got black shirts, but I don't know who officially got them or, or not. But um, I will say this, you know, after the game, Bill Bush just did an incredible job with that, with the defense and, and the way that they really they played lights out at times down yeah. the stretch and um you know the for them to come up and and seal the victory and coach Bush was like hey you make sure and talk about those black shirts and you know it re-emphasizing hey the black shirts are back at the end of the season here and so I'm not surprised that they were going to give them out because yeah. I think they thought that they had earned them after the way that they played down the stretch very cool all right uh we had a long uh, stream yesterday of long but leading up to the press conference we had some national guests on we heard from Joel Klatt last night you had a chance to talk to one of the ESPN analysts Yep, so chatted with Dusty Dvorak, an ESPN college football analyst. He also has a couple of nationally um, radio shows on, on Sirius XM. So he's got a good perspective of Matt Roll. So got a chance to chat with him at length about the fit with Coach Roll at Nebraska. Dusty, thanks so much for uh, spending some time with us. I thought you had a pretty unique perspective of Coach Rule being hired here at Nebraska because, well, you played at Oklahoma when Nebraska was pretty close to the glory days, right? I mean, you call it, you cover college football across the nation every single week. You've called NFL games for ESPN. And then, oh, yeah, you're a byproduct of that Texas high school football that was so important to Matt Rule and his turnaround at Baylor. So appreciate you giving us your perspective on this absolutely it's great to be with you Jessica thanks for having me um, yeah and I was just in Lincoln a few weeks ago whenever I did y'all's game against Illinois had a chance to sit with Trev Alberts and, and talk with him and I could tell in that moment he felt really good about the prospects and the coach that he was going to be able to bring in I have no clue if the deal was done at that time but I'm sure he at least put out feelers to see if Matt Rule uh, would, would be somebody who'd be interested. But he was very confident, and he should be, because, look, I my first year was 0-1. Uh, when we played against Nebraska and Lincoln, it was like one versus three in the country. So, yeah, I'm very familiar with what is capable at that school, the buy-in from the community, from the fan base. I mean, the sellout streak is unmatched. I think they've put together some really good things with NIL, which – you can feel however you want about NIL. It is a reality of college mm -hmm. football moving forward. And for the people that have it, it's going to be extremely beneficial. For the people that don't, it's going to hurt them. And Nebraska has that, as well as being in a, in a league like the Big Ten that is going to be doing very well financially with this latest deal Kevin Warren put together. So uh, that, that new facility looks incredible uh, that I think will be done sooner than later so there's just so many good things about nebraska football and it's about getting the right guy and i gotta tell you jess like matt rules one of my favorite people in college football wow. and i'm just I'm, I'm happy that he's back because mm -hmm. the nfl barred him for a little bit it didn't go the way coach rule wanted it to but he's fantastic and did a great job at temple you know getting that program in, in a great spot and he took over that baylor job and it was rock rock bottom yeah I mean he had hit the reset button to say the least and he resurrected that program 
uh, got him on the cusp of a Big 12 championship, really laid the foundation for what Dave Randall was able to do in second season and win a Big 12 title. So I've got the utmost respect for him. I spent quite a bit of time talking with him, even going back when he first took the Baylor job. I was at an event, and I sat with him and his wife for about an hour, hour and a half, and they were incredible. Awesome people. He's down to earth. I think the Huskers fans are going to love him. And, you know, there was a couple of names that I said, man, if they, if Trev Alberts can get this guy, I think it'll be a home run hire. And Matt Rule is right there at the top of the list for me. So you never know how, how hires are going to work. We all thought the last hire was going to work, but – I don't see how everybody around this program right now is an unbelievably fired up about what Matt Rule is going to be bringing to Lincoln, Nebraska. Yeah, you mentioned the turnaround at Baylor, and there were some questions. Will Baylor ever be able to turn that thing around? It was in shambles. So what was your perspective on why he was able to turn that thing around and so quickly? And a reminder, too, he had, what, one recruit in the, in the recruiting class when he took over, freshman won it out. I mean, he had to really basically rebuild everything from the ground up, won one game, and then it was a quick turnaround. The, one of the most important things he did at Baylor was he went and he brought in some Texas high school football coaches. Um, one of those is Joey McGuire, uh, who actually just you know, got a big-time win Saturday night to get to seven wins in his first year as head coach in Lubbock, Texas. But he put some really good coaches around him that were familiar with that Texas area because he wasn't. Like, he was kind of fish out of water going to, going to Waco, Texas, going to Baylor. And so he put the right people around him, uh, and they were able to do a nice job and, and, you know, get there within the Texas high school football uh, coaches, uh, which is so important because if either you're in or you're out, and if mm -hmm. you're not a part of the club, you better have somebody that is so he can get you in. And I think he's now in that. And to me, that's going to be something that's going to be important, utilizing those relationships. And I think as Nebraska has gone north uh, to the Big Ten, you know, it's kind of it's kind of separated them from that Texas pipeline that they had for a long time. And I think Matt Rule will be able to at least tap back into those resources. So I thought that was one thing that he did well. And I think, like, if you talk to Matt Rule, he's a good recruiter, and I think he's a really good developer of talent. I think that's the one thing. Like, if you go back and you look at Nebraska under Coach Frost, like, they recruited pretty well. Mm -hmm. They recruited better than anybody else in the Big Ten West. But developing that talent was, I think, where there was a little bit um, of, uh, of a gap. And I think that's one thing for me, being around Matt Rule, called some of his games when he was at Temple, as well as, you know, when he was in Waco, I think he's an excellent developer of talent. Like, he, he is a guy to me, he's a culture guy, he's a Northeastern, defensive-minded, tough, hard-nosed dude. And he's going to demand that. He's going to demand that that's how his teams train how they prepare, and how they go out there and play. And so I think that when you can couple a guy who's going to put the right staff around him to be able to go out and get in homes and do the recruiting he needs, he's going to help put the pieces in place and demand development of that talent when they get it. And somebody who can really very quickly bring in his own culture and implement it, I think those are kind of the foundational pieces you look for in a successful coach. It paid huge dividends in Waco, and I would expect some kind of similar strategy for him. They're taking over this job for the Huskers. What kind of culture is that? I mean, I, I kind of remember it's like toughness, the mentality. I mean, do your job type of thing. Can you dive into that culture and, and what Husker fans can expect out of that culture that Matt Rule is going to try to implement probably here in Lincoln? Yeah, well, he's an old school linebacker, right? right? So, I mean, that's just kind of, you know, he played at Penn State. Um, he played for Joe Paul, like, so like, that's just kind of what you should expect. And it is, it's, it's a tough, no nonsense, uh, physical mindset culture that, that he's going to have. I mean, he's, he's kind of a, he's an old school mentality, but he's, it's interesting because, you know, when you get him one-on-one, -on -one, I'm sure you get a chance to spend a lot of time with him. He's like fun. He's like got good energy and he's, you know, he's, he's typically in a good mood. But then like when it comes to the football, he's as intense uh, a coach as you'll see. I mean, just look at him anytime he's on the sideline. So I think that, and to me, when I see that, that's passion. And I think that players want to play for passionate coaches. Uh, players, to me, best teams emulate their coaches 
And so I think you're going to see a, a culture that's implemented with a ton of passion, uh, with some core values and a level of toughness that is just going to be demanded uh, from a guy like Matt Rule. So I can't wait to see how quickly he's able to instill that. And really, I've been rooting for this Nebraska, you know, this program to turn around for a while. And I, I sure hope that uh, this hire, this move, is the one that gets it right. Because to me, college football is in a better place when Nebraska is in the conversation as one of the marquee programs in all of college football. And everybody's been waiting for a while. Uh, we'll see if, if Matt Rule is that guy. They can get them back to that place. Hey, you'll probably be moving up the list of uh, favorite analysts with that uh, answer right there for Husker fans. You had mentioned earlier about the NFL and him going to the NFL. Why do you think it didn't work? Do you think he's just more of a college coach? I do. I, I do. I, when he took that job at Carolina, I was I, I didn't know if it'd work because again, he's I mean, he's pretty like you know demanding. He's pretty in your face. He's. He's not Nick Saban. I don't want to say that, but there's a reason Nick Saban didn't work in the NFL. The NFL is a different place. It's, it's, a, it's a different mindset. These are grown men that are making tens of millions of dollars, and you know, they're making more money than you are. It's, just, it's a different mindset. Motivation is a completely different world. I, I learned and saw that firsthand. You know, College, and even though we're implementing NIL and and players are making money now, these are still 18 to mm -hmm. 22, 23-year-old kids. And they're very impressionable. And you can make an impact, and you can help shape and mold them. And when you get the right ones through the recruiting process, they'll really listen and be coachable. That's not always the case in the NFL, and especially if you don't win early in the NFL. Like, that's the thing that I always worried about. Or, or any coach that's great in college and they go to the NFL and, you know, they have more of a no-nonsense kind of a hardcore mentality. They're going to be very demanding and they're going to they're gonna expect accountability and they may be in your face. And if in the NFL, if it doesn't work quickly, well, that, that locker room can turn on you fast. Right. And then it just turns into white noise. Whereas... College programs, that, that's not the case. Again, you're just dealing with a completely different type of person. So I've always thought that Matt Rule was a, is, a, is a phenomenal college coach. I didn't, I'm not necessarily here to say I think it's not going to work in the NFL. I just think that his personality, how he conducts himself, what he wants to do, and the impact he wants to have on a team and on players, it's much more suited for the college game. Well, Husker fans probably remember your name. They might not recognize you if they're watching you because you don't have the long blonde hair and the black face paint. And what, 100, 100 pounds heavier back then? It was uh, not quite 100, but it was a substantial amount. Probably 60 pounds ago, I was roaming the field there in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, you know, and I actually, it's funny, I just had on my afternoon show on Sirius XM Mad Dog Radio, I had Zach Taylor on a couple of weeks ago. And the last time I played there in Lincoln, Zach Taylor was a quarterback. And, and we sacked him nine times in that game. And so we were having some fun with that. But we played an unbelievably close game, one of the best games I ever played in college. And we won the game. And I'll never forget this. And this is why I've always appreciated and will always appreciate Nebraska football. We're, we're leaving the field and we're going in through, like, our tunnel. And I hear, like, all these cheers and, like, there's fans up, and they're, like, cheering. I look up thinking it's Oklahoma fans. It was Nebraska fans. And there were Nebraska fans, like, great job, great win, best of luck the rest of the season, 94, you're a great player. Like, I was blown away. I have exited many stadiums, Jess, after winning a game, and it's typically the exact opposite. It's typically <laughs> the old number one how awful you are, how terrible your program is, you can die, whatever it may be. And it could not have been a more different experience when I was there in Lincoln. I feel like the fan base, they're passionate about their Husker football, but they're also appreciative of good quality competition. And the fact that they had respect for us and for me, uh, you know, it really opened my eyes up and it's given me an even more profound appreciation for exactly who they are and what that fan base and program is all about. So uh, here's to hoping that Matt Rule can unlock this program and get them back to some glory days there uh, with that football program. 
Appreciate Dusty's perspective. We had a great insight and knew you could give a lot of different details about a lot of different areas. And um, you heard him say it, and he, he referenced it a couple of different times, that uh, college football is better when Nebraska is in that conversation about being some of those teams that win a lot of football games. So I think there's a lot of fans, as much as there's some hate, I think there are a lot of national people that aren't didn't play here that want to see Nebraska return back to where they're in that conversation. But we're irrelevant. <laughs> right? People want to tell us all that you guys are irrelevant, but we lead ESPN's ticker most nights. It's crazy, right? I feel like it's, it's yeah. That's, Isn't that crazy? I mean, I, I said it on the stream. It's like if... It was a huge news story when yes. the whole search, when everything, it's been a big story this whole, since all everything s- happened. So, all season. Yeah. 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 Good to have him on. Thanks for him coming on. 402-413-2400, the number if you want to be a part of the program with a call or a text. That is our Sports Highly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. we got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned that you can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. More of the show coming up next. It's time to get away in a new Hyundai vehicle during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event at Woodhouse Hyundai. The Hyundai lineup of sedans and SUVs has the capability you need and technology and features you want, like the all-new 2023 Hyundai Palisade and Hyundai Tucson. This holiday season, get into a vehicle that will give you confidence with Hyundai Owner Assurance, America's best 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Visit us online at woodhousehyundaiofomaha.com. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Sam Pineda with Campus News. Husker students on the debate team and Bateman competition public relations team earned national championships this past year, marking a first for each program. The debate team claimed victory with one of the youngest teams in the country, while the Bateman competition public relations team won their championship by building a PR campaign for the Lymphoma Research Foundation. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? (laughs) Think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY 2000 through 2021 sales. I the warmest. 
I'm the warmest too. I'm so glad we called SOS before the coldest got here. I'm always the coldest. SOS to the rescue. Hey, this is the coldest Crawford. If your house is the coldest, call SOS Heating and Cooling. Their techs don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than a competition guaranteed. Don't be like me in the winter. Take it from Dakota. SOS to the rescue. SOS. SOS. Beardmore Subaru celebrates Nebraska volleyball again this season. Five national championships, 47 All-Americans, and a home sellout streak dating back to 2001. The longest streak for any women's sport in NCAA history. Beardmore Subaru has been a proud supporter of Husker volleyball for more than 10 years. Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue has the new Subaru Outback Wilderness. Loaded with off-road ready upgrades and the new Solterra, Subaru's first ever all-electric and all-wheel drive vehicle. Go Big Red. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Back in the inside of our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie back with you here on a Tuesday night, our men's basketball show with assistant coach Adam Howard coming up at the top of the hour. Be ready for that. Let's go to Omaha and Mark. Good evening, Mark. Welcome to the program. Well, good evening there, Mr. Sharp. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions, uh, Greg, on, on this. Uh, how long have you been in Lincoln now? Fifteen years. Fifteen? Um, boy, you sure miss growing up here with the old Wild Bremser when he was that announcer. He was fantastic. Uh, I've been following Husker football since I've been nine, and that would have been the second year of Bob Devaney. Um what what do you think about this hire? I think it's a very solid hire. It's a guy that's had to go in and take over programs that weren't in very good shape and made them pretty good in a hurry. Uh, I think he's I think he's a guy that the players are going to like, and we're getting glowing reports from the guys on the team that have met him and talked to him. So I think it's going to be a really solid hire for Nebraska. Well, I kind of like – since I'm an older guy here, I kind of uh, – I always look at it like, here we go again. And uh, when I listened to his presser yesterday, he kind of reminds me a lot of Callahan. He talked real fast. He's going to bring guys in and we're not familiar with. And uh, we lose that. I don't want to use that word culture. But, uh, you know, I'm still a guy that still likes uh, college programs, which I know we've changed quite a bit now. But, I'm hoping he's successful, yeah. and um, and uh, I'd like to go. I hope he, I hope he can win nine games, like Bo Pelini did in his first year in 2008. Yeah, uh, you have a good evening, Mark. Appreciate. It. Thanks for the call. I think the you know the biggest thing, the difference between from Bill Callahan, who was a very nice man, by the way, and, I, I, and a lot of people I know are down on what Bill, the Bills' tenure here, but. Bill really hadn't been around the college game for quite a while where Matt has. And Matt has run college programs where Bill had never done that. Bill had been an assistant coach at a couple of stops. So that's the difference from coming to NFL back to college. I see the connection you're making with leaving the NFL and coming back to college. But Matt has coached two college programs as the head coach. It's a big, big difference. In two vastly different areas of the country right and was successful in both absolutely mark appreciate the call hey buckle up folks put the phone down a reminder from the ndot highway safety office back to wrap up hour one next 
At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. There's a call on the field for a quality seed specific to where you farm. Make the right call with Prairie Valley. With local research in eight regions throughout Nebraska, Prairie Valley performs with their locally specific hybrids and varieties while achieving the highest quality and yield. No matter where you farm in Nebraska, Prairie Valley has the seed for where you are. Find a local dealer and learn more about the seed for where you are at prairievalleyseeds.com. At top, this is Shelly. Shelly wants someone to come out, so, someone to break. High lob for Izzy Bourne. Posting up the foul line, caught it. Back to Shelly, six to shoot. Down the right lane liner, driving away. lab, and it counts. And a foul. Thank you very much. Hey, Huskers fans, this Thursday, Nebraska women's basketball takes on Virginia Tech. Catch all the action with Matt Cotney and Jeff Grease starting at 5.45 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Sam Pineda with Campus News. For the fifth straight year, the University of Nebraska system is a top 100 patent earning institution. NU system researchers were granted 43 patents in 2021, with UNL researchers named as inventors on 25 of these patents. Husker patents include three projects with partners at the University of Nebraska Medical Center and six patents for a surgical robot developed by faculty in the College of Engineering. Get a high d Plus premium membership for just $99 a year and get fuel savings every time you shop in-store and online. Plus, exclusive deals and offers every month. Plus, free standard delivery and free express pickup. With High V Plus, our plus equals more. For a limited time, get $50 off an annual High V Plus membership with code SAVEBIG. That's right, get $50 off a High V Plus membership with code SAVEBIG. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. About a minute left in the hour, and then it's our men's basketball show. Adam Howard in the house. Get your comments, questions ready to talk Husker hoops in hour number two. Crypto King, Jessica, a couple of questions for us. Any word on Nicklin Haynes's status? I think, she, wasn't she just sick? I think it was just she didn't feel yeah. well. I think she'll be be fine. She'll be a gamer. She'll be out there. Also, wants to know the details for Matt Rule's contract out. Yes, they are. Um, I don't have enough time to go through it, but, yeah, a lot of the media outlets have printed details of the contract, so you can go find that at various points out there. Have to release that. Public school. you got to give it out. Yep. And, it's again, it's everywhere. You can put it in a Google search, and you can find it easy. Go find all that. Got three games going on right now in the Big Ten ACC Challenge. This is the last year for that. It's going away after this year. Obviously, the Big Ten has made different decisions with their TV partners going away for ESPN. So I bet they find some of the league to do something with. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't you think? Yeah. There's a lot of other good leagues, basketball leagues, that you can match up with. Yeah. All right, that'll do it for me. Jessica's got Coach Howard coming up next hour. Back tomorrow night, we have an hour ahead of the Huskers matchup with Boston College tomorrow night at PBA. Have yourself a great night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Farmers can make what seems impossible reality with a little hard work and ingenuity. They find solutions to reduce inputs and improve their yield. 
Valley Irrigation is no different. As the leader in irrigation technology, we deliver results and optimize your operation. Because when you have a vision for the future, you need the people that can make it possible by your side. Expect what's next. Expect what's possible from Valley. Visit us at valleyirrigation.com. Experience the difference at Woodhouse Buick GMC. From the GMC Acadia to the Buick Encore, we're sure to have a vehicle that fits your lifestyle. Our climate-controlled showroom guarantees a comfortable shopping experience every time you visit. Plus, our commitment to our customers continues well beyond the date of purchase. You will leave our lot feeling comfortable and confident in your new vehicle. Start your car buying journey today, in-store or online at woodhousebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> Think again. Toyota hybrids. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY 2000 through 2021 sales.
This is the Nebraska Men's Basketball Show, presented by your Midwest Ford dealers. Visit buyfordnow.com. Bounces on the right lane line into Blaze Kata, puts up, got it, two to nothing, and a foul and a three-point plate chance for Big Blaze. Here's Vandermill across the timeline, left side for the Huskers, pull-up jump shot on the way, got it, three ball, another CBA three. As Vandermel goes two for two. And he's got a pretty stroke, and we mentioned it in pregame. He hit 71 threes at SMU and knocked down two back-to-back. Here's Greasel with the ball. Starts down the right side. Good quick move. Puts it up and in off the window. Super finish by Sam Greasel. And now Vandermel on a steal. Vandermel right past one defender. All the way to the rack. Puts it up and in. It's a two-point goal on a steal. And a transition two by Vandermel. He is fast. Baseline to baseline, and he showed it right there, getting all the way to the rim off the steal. Here's a drive by Tomanaga out to Dawson. Pump fake, drives the ball, and jams it with a right hand. A tomahawk along the left baseline. Big, big punch there by Denham Dawson, and the Huskers are up 26 to 9. Here is your host, Jessica Cootie, on the Huskers Radio Network. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. And welcome in to our Nebraska Men's Basketball Hour. I'm Jessica Cootie and excited to be joined by Adam Howard, who is making your debut on the show. How's it going? Yeah, great, great. I appreciate you having me on. And uh, yeah, things are going good. Well, did you recover? You rested from the trip to Orlando on Thanksgiving weekend? Not not recovered, <laughs> not rested, but happy to be back. Happy to sleep in my own bed. You know, being gone since Tuesday was, was, was a lot. And uh, three games in four days is quite a bit. So but uh, another opportunity, a couple opportunities this week, so got to get uh, got to get it behind us for sure. Hey, we're gonna dive into all the hoop stuff, but uh, let's let's get the big story out of the way. You took your young kids for the first time to Disney World, right? Yeah, How, what yeah, did they think? Yeah, no, they had a great trip. Uh, we're we're probably more excited about the flight going down. Really? First time they've been on a plane as well. So wow. We, yeah, we covered a lot this week, so it was fun. They had a great time. Uh, I think Magic Kingdom, they said, is their favorite park. I unfortunately didn't get to go with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, had had a few other things to do. But uh, they had a great time. They got to see some of the characters that they watch on a day-to-day basis and, and play with at, at, at the house. And so uh, Buzz Lightyear is kind of a fan favorite in our home. And, and uh, Eli got to take a few pictures and spend some time with him. So they had a great time. Yeah. That's awesome. It's kind of a cool tradition for college basketball to get to play in Thanksgiving tournaments and take your families and, and be on the road, right? Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, pretty unique when you're at a place like this that you get opportunities to go to. Uh, and ESPN did an awesome job. It's a great, great event, great field. And, and so it was a lot of fun. And, and uh, you know, us being, fam- my family being from, you know, traditionally the South, uh, once the weather started to change, we, you know, we booked the trip uh, for my wife and kids just uh, about three weeks ago when the weather started to change. My wife said, I'm not staying in, in, in Nebraska by myself <laughs> with the weather getting the way it's getting. So uh, it was good that uh, they got to see some sunshine, spend some time at the pool and, and uh, have a good time in the park. So, yeah, really thankful for the opportunity to, for them to go as well. All right, 402-413-2400. If you have any uh, questions, you want to call into the show for Coach Howard. Uh, he'll be with us here for the rest of the show. So um, one and two, big way to finish it, though. Best performance of the season there and on the Sunday night performance? Yeah, without question. You know, I think that's it was all hands on deck, you know, obviously with having Derek back. Uh, you know, we got to see uh, a little bit of what makes our team good with him out there. And, and so, yeah, the guys, you know, had to put together f- a full 40 minutes, and that's what it takes to be quality opponents like Florida State. And, and so it was, it was good to finish that thing off the right way. So Oklahoma was the team you guys saw first. They go on to win the tournament, and then Memphis is a heck of an opponent too. And, and you know, the ESPN guys were talking about they very easily could have won the tournament. How good was that? just for this team to have that kind of competition. Yeah, you know, really good. You know, it was it was great for us to understand. You know, the, the thing that I took away from it, uh, going in our league with how physical it is, is, you know, we won the rebounding battle in all three games. And so that was good to see uh, the first one without Derek against a good physical Oklahoma team. And then, you know, Memphis is, is probably as athletic and as long across the board as we'll see. And then, uh, you know, Florida State, traditionally, you know, uh, one of the better defensive teams in the country, sit on top of you, deny. Uh, really good and you know they were out there with four you know top 100 players you know so it was great it was good to get the experience with what we've got coming up to under, for our guys to understand how you know what what it goes into in you know, winning games like that uh, especially in the league that we're in 
Derek's played a lot of basketball and, you know, obviously practicing, but it's so much different, right? That first game, knock it off the rust. Yeah, without question. You know, he did, you know, he got thrown right into it. We started him, you know, uh, the second that we could. And, and then, uh, you know, it was just um, – it takes a little bit of time, you know, and, and he's been practicing. We'd had him, uh, you know, on the scout team getting ready, you know, helping us prepare and do some of those things. But he was, uh, you know, he was great for us. It was, it was awesome to have him back. Uh, you know, just a guy out there that can relieve some pressure on some of the other guys. He can make a play for himself and he can make a play for, for someone else. And so, um, you know, having Derek back, you know, 39 of our last 55 field goals made have been assisted on. And a lot of that comes from Derek, you know, mm -hmm. and just the ball movement that we get when we have a guy that we can play through like that. So, and then heck of a game two back, right? 20 points, 13 rebounds. And again, seeing what you just talked about, the way it was able to open up the floor, you had five guys in double figures. I mean, CJ Wilter, Sam Griesel, both with 13. Juwan Gary had 10. And then Casey comes off the bench with 13 too. I mean, what did you see out of Derek in game two from game one to game two? Yeah, you know, he was able to open the floor up. You know, we were able to uh, play through Derek a lot and, and uh, get him the ball at the, at the top of the key. He was able to bring the ball up, uh, you know, uh, after makes and misses as well to kind of alleviate some pressure for some of those guys. But it just opens the floor up for guys like Jawan to, to cut. We thought it was one of our best spacing games we've had. It was one of our better cutting games we've had. And so, it, you know, the ball just moved a lot better. You know, we weren't, you know, guys weren't uh, stuck on an island kind of like at St. John's and some of the, you know, some of the games we've had earlier. And, and uh, you know, just having Derek out there opens everything. He's so unselfish. He knows the system. He's been with Coach the longest, so he knows exactly what we're, we're doing. We put in a new offense in the ballroom uh, within 15 minutes uh, the day before uh, Florida State just to kind of open the floor up to spread some things out. And, and Derek did a great job as well as the rest of our guys on our, on our roster to, to execute that game plan. There's a, a, a lot of big guys can't pass the ball like Derek can pass it. When was your first kind of realization that, oh, wow, he's a really good passer too? Yeah, this first workout I had with him in, 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 when I first got here in the spring, I mean, his feel is phenomenal. Uh, the way he reads screens, the way he makes himself available, and then just the poise that he plays with when he has it. You know, the Memphis game, he was a little bit sped up just for, you know, when you play against a, you know, a quality opponent like that, first game back after sitting out for six, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it gets to you a little bit. You know, Memphis has like a top 20 defense in the country, and they're long and athletic. And so, um, but, um, you know, just seeing the poise and presence he has and the command he has with the ball, is pretty special and, and he's at, he's a weapon for us you know in the fact that he can he can kind of you know be a point guard out there at his position i'll have to ask about it but you know why is that why do you think is it god given is it something that someone can work on before you grow and hit a go yeah. growth spurt how do uh, how does a post player become such a good passer yeah i think it's you know a little bit of everything like you mm -hmm. just touched on you know um you know his feel and his skill set is just unbelievable uh, Derek's IQ helps with that as well. You know, he's a really, really smart kid, um, you know, and, and so just having the, you know, the presence and, and uh, being able to pick up things and read things, you know, and, and it just, you know, I think he probably, you know, was a guard growing up, like most big guys want to be, right? They all want to they all want to be guards. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, somewhere along the line, he was able to, you know, to get that skill set to where he has the vision in the field to, to you know, to be able to play that we want to play. How much does it help too, Sam Griesel, obviously has had some really good games but when st john's and then oklahoma and, and the press that teams threw at yeah. you guys how much does it help to have derek alleviate some of the pressure off of sam oh it's 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 um it's invaluable you know and so um everybody felt it you know we felt it as a staff our players felt it you know and it's just more of a free-flowing and derek being able to bring it up and you know uh their five men aren't going to be able to pressure the way that, you know, their point guards are pressuring Sam and our other guys. And so um, we've got a package in play for when teams are pressuring and, and to have Derek out there um, pretty much be the point guard at that point is it's a, a really, really good weapon for our, for our program. We've talked a lot about Sam Griesel, and he, he's a big point of in, interest being a local kid, but how much have you seen him grow, too, as a point guard? Because he just took over playing point guard three years ago. It's not like he's a natural-born born point guard and, and hasn't been playing point guard his whole life. And he had told me how much he's grown as a point guard working with Coach Hoiberg and, and this staff even. And so what's been your perspective on his growth being a point guard just since he stepped on campus here? Yeah, it's been great. You know, uh, Sam is is willing to do whatever it takes, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, obviously, you know, 
wanting to come here and, and help Nebraska win and take this program to, to places it hasn't been, uh, you know, he's he's just willing to do whatever it takes. And so, um, you know, there was a point, I think, in the Memphis game, you know, we moved him off the ball, you know. And so, um, you know, he's been our point guard, you know, up to this point. But there was spurts and moments we said, hey, we got to take some of this pressure off of you. We gave it to Bandamel. But uh, he's grown a ton. You know, he's uh, such a... Uh, a team guy and just wants to win that, um, you know, he's he's in there all the time watching film with coach. He's on the floor getting shots, uh, just doing whatever he can to understand the position and, and coach's system and making sure not only he knows what's going on, but where all the other guys are supposed to be, too. And um, because we've got, you know, a couple other new guys in the, in, in the lineup out there with him at all time. And so he's got unbelievable command and presence and, and a very, very unselfish guy. And we're happy that he's that he's running the point for us. You got a, a few of those unselfish team guys, Bannon yeah. Mellon another one of those yeah. guys willing to do anything that you guys ask of him. Yeah, I mean, you just watch him play, you know, defense. He picks the ball up for 40 minutes, he, and he's in every, he's in all the right spots defensively. Uh, he makes up for, you know, um, you know, other guys' mistakes, which, you know, and he has plenty of mistakes as well, but he, he just, he's one of the most unselfish guys we've ever been around, one of the most high character guys that just wants to win. He never stops talking, and, and uh, uh, we're, we're very fortunate to have him on this year's team for sure. Juwan Gary made a heck of a pass to Derek Walker yeah. when he threw it down. I mean, how about that? Two guys on the court that can pass the ball. Yeah, yeah, no, no Juwan, he, he did. He was he was pressured at half court and, and made the right play. And, and so, um, yeah, you know, he's got another kid with a good IQ uh, that, you know, played in a similar system at Alabama. One of the guys' assistants at, at Alabama worked for Coach Hoiberg and, with the Chicago Bulls. And so a lot of the same terminology, so maybe his – development and growth has been a little bit uh, you know quicker than, than other guys because it's, a, it's pretty much the same system and so uh, he's fit in well and, and uh, another guy uh, having Derek back Jawan benefit, benefited from that from you know uh, a, a very large uh, standpoint it's just where he's able to cut more and get some of our slashing rolls uh, into the end of the game more with Derek out there so uh, glad that glad that uh, Jawan is playing well we're going to need him there's no doubt that and it's been we we've known that Derek Walker was going to be the guy and and be you know the, the best player on this team and a lot of things go through him but with him being out for those six seven games how big was that time for a guy like Blaze and and for you guys to be able to experience with some different lineups too oh yeah it was great it was awesome for all those guys you know to uh, to you know to to be where we're at at this point for Blaze to have the experience that he's had, for Wilhelm to be able to play multiple positions, you know, the four and the five. Uh, you know, obviously guys like Denham at that time got a chance to play just because the rotation was, uh, you know, stretched out a little bit more without having a guy like Derek. So uh, really good uh, experience for all those guys. And, and um, you know, definitely they'll be, they'll be ready to go when their number's called, you know, moving forward as well. So when you guys broke down the film from these last three games and, and heading into a really tough stretch, three yeah. games a, ahead in the always daunting Big Ten, what were the big takeaways, positive and negatives, from the three games that you guys played in Orlando? Yeah, you know, I think the um, one of the biggest positives I already touched on was just the fact that we won the rebounding margin mm -hmm. in all those games. You know, that's something that – will travel with you that's something that that'll you know you need to do every game you know and that's something that we talk about um each and every night that uh, we definitely have to do um you know obviously getting Derek back you know putting in a, a different system when he's out there versus pressure um you know and then just uh understanding when your back's against the wall and you're playing quality opponents every night you know being on the road whether it's neutral or on the road um you've got to you got to play a full 40 minutes you know we had moments in the games uh against oklahoma we had really good spurts there against memphis you know but to beat quality opponents you can't play 20 minutes or 36 minutes you got to play a full 40 minutes and and um you know so that was a good takeaway and and we're obviously going to see those type of opponents uh the rest of the season i think we were talking today um, Joe Lenardi's bracketology came out. 21 of our 31 opponents are projected to make the NCAA tournament. Wow! So you know we've got uh, we've got a we've got a tough schedule, and uh, so uh, the tournament and what we've done to this point, I think, will prepare us for that moving forward. All right, we got to work in our first break here on our Nebraska men's basketball show. 402-413-2400 if you want to be a part of the show with a text or a phone call. The Sports Nightly Hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Back with more with Coach Howard coming up right after this. 
From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Sam Pineda with Campus News. UNL has been awarded over $14 million by the U.S. Department of Commerce to expand robotics research and teaching spaces, part of a $25 million award given to the state of Nebraska to advance robotics research. The funding will allow the university to educate and train the next generation of Nebraska workers, entrepreneurs, and innovators for careers of the future. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Visit shelterinsurance.com and find an agent to help you choose the coverage you need. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. The Season of Inspiration sales event is happening now at Woodhouse Mazda and Woodhouse Place Mazda. This holiday season, arrive with confidence in a Mazda CUV equipped with standard iActive all-wheel drive, and each model has an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus award. When you shop Woodhouse, you'll receive the first year of maintenance on us. Visit us in Bellevue, Millard, or online at woodhousemazda.com or woodhouseplacemazda.com. Families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. A calming voice saying it'll be okay. Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org. huskers There is no place like Nebraska, and there is no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and has been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Huskers fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment, and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Agriculture is the economic engine of the Midwest. At Acres Equipment, we dedicate ourselves to making that engine run smoothly. We supply our farmers and ranchers with quality John Deere equipment, parts, and service. We also deliver the most advanced technology and precision ag strategies to help them farm today and for the future. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Every single day, Central Valley Ag works with our farmers to feed the globe. When you grow non-GMO white corn or non-GMO yellow corn, you can earn up to $250 more per acre. Do the math. Growing CVA value-added grains pays huge dividends. Our planet is hungry. Together, we feed it. Learn how you can get up to a $5,000 signing bonus with a value-added grain contract at cvacoop.com. Central Valley Ag, the official co-op of Husker Nation. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Bank of the West is offering the first checking account designed for climate action. It gives back 1% of the account's net revenue to the planet at no cost to you. Shows you the estimated carbon impact of debit card purchases. And there's no minimum balance required. Learn more at bankofthewest.com slash 1%. Additional conditions apply. Member FDIC. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska is proud to support Husker Athletics. Having a competent teammate beside you makes all the difference when it comes to protecting what matters most. With a proven track record of dependable coverage, unmatched financial strength, and a prompt claim service team right here in Nebraska, that's insurance kept local. 
visit FMNE.com to contact an agent for a quote today. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, always alongside you. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Nebraska 811 says go dig red. Before you dig, always click or call 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free, it's easy, it's the laws. We welcome you back to our Nebraska men's basketball show. I'm Jessica Cootie, joined by Adam Howard this week. Well, you had talked about how your family's from the South and you were learning how to deal with this cold weather. How are you liking Nebraska so far? Yeah, we absolutely love it. It's great. It's a it's a beautiful place. Uh, you know, my family settled in really well and kids are really happy and, and my wife really likes it as well outside the cold weather. Weather. So it's uh, we're happy to be here and, and uh, grateful for the opportunity. Did you go to any football games? Yeah, we did. We went to as many as we could. Uh, with uh, you know, if, if it's six, seven o'clock at night, we're probably not going to be there. We try <laughs> yeah. to get the kids in bed early, but uh, the weather's good and and the afternoons available. We're going to definitely go. Yeah, family made it to two or three home games, and we tried to get to as many as we possibly could, and, and uh, nothing like it. That's for sure. You uh, watched Coach Roll's press conference yesterday. What'd you think? Yeah, very impressive. Yeah, very, very impressive and, and exciting times for sure. You know, and, and I think change is hard. Change is good. You know, I want to be mindful to those that uh, the change is going to affect in a different way. Right. But uh, uh, really excited for Nebraska, for, for our university, for the state that, uh, that Coach Roll is here. I think he's going to do some really special things for sure. You know, I, I talked to you right when you first got hired and, and you, joining this staff and you, you talked about your conversations with Coach Hoiberg. What's it been like working with him? How much have you learned from him in, in your time working on his staff? Yeah, it's been amazing. Uh, he's, he's by far probably one of the, the better people that, that's in my life that I know as a person. He's awesome. Uh, he's been great to work for, great to my family. Um, and, um, you know, learning is, is probably in, in the eight, six, seven months I've been here, uh, it, it's something new every day, uh, and not just from him. We've got a great staff. Uh, Nate, I learned something from him every single day defensively or just about life. Nate's, Nate's an awesome person, great coach. Coach Ziegler uh, is awesome. He was a great addition for us late. Uh, you know, just a wealth of experience, just his poise and, and presence as an older veteran guy that's been a part of uh, winning at the highest of levels. Uh, been been in the national championship game, you know, been a head coach. So um, the staff that we have in place and the people that I've been around, you know, uh, Coach Hoiberg has been unbelievable for me. Um, but just everybody that we have that uh, we, we work with on a day to day basis, the staff is is, is by far uh, one of the betters I've been on and, and uh, learned from all of them every single day. I had talked to Sam Griesel, and he was when he was telling me about how much he's learned under Coach Hoiberg. And one of the things he really dove into was even like timeout huddles and Coach Hoiberg drawing up a play coming out of the timeout. And Sam was just said it's unreal to see how his mind works and that oh yeah, there's no way that this is not going to work. What's been your perspective on that? Yeah, it's been it's been it's been I've I've kind of you know I've been working you know with Coach pretty closely on the offensive stuff. Uh, and um, you know, I, he's he, Sam's right. You know, uh, he sees things that uh, um, you know I, I for sure don't see. And um, so it's been great. Uh, he's pretty special when it comes to his imagination and, and what he can do with the pin and the board. And and uh, so the offensive side of things has been unbelievable for me. And um, um, learning a ton. But Sam is Sam is 100% right. You know, and 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 coach is competitive. You better coming out of a coming out of a timeout. You better be in the right spots. And he knows <laughs> it's going to work. But you know, the guys have to execute it. Coach Hoiberg has really bragged on, on the staff and you guys about um, how willing to you guys are to do the extra work of being out on the court one on one mm -hmm. with guys too. How much do you enjoy that? Just the one on one time working with players. Oh, it's great. It's it's you know it's probably one of the the funner parts of the. You can just put everything down, your phone, your computer, and and, uh, and some of it is, you know, for guys to get better. Some of it is for guys to just kind of, 
you know, therapeutic for them as well to be just get in the gym and work. And, you know, you can kind of tell when a kid needs it, not just specifically for how they're playing, but just mentally as well to get some, you know, mental reps. And sometimes it's, it's in there really sweating and bumping around. And sometimes it's just shooting for them and talking while you're doing it. And so, um, yeah, all of us, you know, are, are out there, you know, constantly with these guys and, and our guys seek us out for extra work because, you know, I think they enjoy it as well. And so it's, it's good just to spend time with those guys in a setting that's, you know, a little different and, and um, you know, you can just get there, be out there, be, get better and, and enjoy each other's company. How does that work? Do they just like shoot you a text? They come up to the office like, hey, coach, can you come down with me or what? Yeah, different ways after mm -hmm. practice. Hey, you got a minute or, you know, I've got to go to study hall, but what are you doing at 3.30? And, and so our guys have done a really good job of just, uh, you know, um, seeking us out, our GAs and managers or whoever, you know, and we've got a good group of kids that like to work and, and are always trying to get better. So somebody's in the gym with them constantly. Got a text for you on the text line from Roger. Great seeing the Big Red get a good win against Florida State the other night. Playing Memphis will be beneficial for the Huskers down the road and help prepare them for Big Ten Conference play. Love my guys on the hardwood. Back the hoop programs, 100%. How, what's it been like taking in the fan support oh, for it's great. here in Lincoln? Yeah, it's awesome. And it's not just for, you know, it's across the board. It's awesome to see, you know, taking my, you asked about football. We went to football games. We've been to volleyball games, you know, and, and uh, it's awesome, you know, to see the support night in and night out for, you know, for us, women's basketball, soccer, softball, baseball. It has been amazing. There's truly nothing like Nebraska, as they say. And, and so we're, we're very, very thankful for the passionate fans. And, and uh, we're going to need them this year, that's for sure. 402-413-2400. Uh, that's where Roger hit us up on our Woodhouse Auto family text line. I did want to ask you about Casey Tominaga because he seems to be such a crowd favorite. Like my mom, when we went to the game the other day, she's like, I love him. He's my favorite. He's such an energy guy. What's it like working with him? That's been awesome. You know, Casey, <laughs> it's probably, uh, it's been a little bit of a surprise that he's able to have the success that he's had just when you look at him, mm -hmm. you know, but he is, uh, he is much more than just a, uh, uh, you know, a, a guy that's just going to stand out there and shoot. Casey really understands how to play, how to cut. He's competitive. He plays hard. Uh, he's got some juice, you know, and so, you know, he comes off those screens, he cuts with force and he gets open and, and uh, we can count on Casey to give, make us make a big play for us offensively. And, and uh, he and Derek have a lot of chemistry, and, you know, and handoffs and in flares and slips and stuff. So Casey, uh, even though the, the language barrier is there and that's a real thing, he really, truly understands, you know, how, you know, how we want to play and, and this system is good for him. And uh, he, he's a crowd favor for how hard he plays and rightfully so. He brings it every single night. Where does he rank among some of the better shooters that you've seen in a, a gym? He's up there. I mean, if not, yeah, he's he's got to probably be one of one of the top two, three best shooters uh, that I've seen witnessed. I coached a kid at Troy that was uh, all-time leading three-point maker in the history of the Sun Belt Conference. That was a pretty good. Uh, uh, shooter, and I think if Casey was at the same level, he you know he'd probably shatter all his records. Uh, you know, Casey's by far probably one of the better in-game shooters that I've ever seen. It's crazy. What is about lefties? Sometimes lefties are the best shooters. Right, and it just looks better, right? You know, we don't see it a lot, and, and I love left-handed baseball hitters, and uh -huh. everything's everything's looks better lefty, but um, he he can definitely shoot that basketball. I thought it was hilarious this summer. I don't know where you guys were, but you ran into Clay Thompson, right. and you posted a picture on your Twitter, and it was with Coach Hoiberg and Clay Thompson, and you said. The best stroke in the game and Clay Thompson. Yeah, yeah, no question, right? Because <laughs> I, you know, obviously when you when you sell it in recruiting, you talk about kids that can shoot the basketball that they're learning and getting to work from one of the you know the best to do it. I mean, Coach led the NBA in the three point field goal percentage. So just a quick little shot at, at Clay, you know, to let him remind him that uh, that Coach could shoot the basketball as well. But you know, guys that I've seen and Coach, you know, Casey's up there. I think Clay probably has the prettiest, prettiest and purest stroke to probably ever play the game. But uh, um, you know, a couple guys that can shoot the basketball for sure. What's your favorite part of the game when you're watching? What really stands out to you when you are taking <clears throat> in whatever? I mean, what's the one thing that you always look out for that always stands out to you? You know, I think just when we're in our, in our stuff, in our system, just when we play with the right spacing and the right pace, mm -hmm. you know, everything, is, it, it's just, it's, it's a beautiful game, you know, and uh, it, it uh, you know, when you have 
the right pieces and having Derek back and all the guys that uh, uh, buy into the role, you know, making sure the guys, you know, are doing exactly what's asked asked of them, like this group is done. It's a lot of fun, you know, and so um, just just seeing it all come together, you know, and, and the guys have worked extremely hard and, and um, you know, it's it's been a good group to, to, to work with for sure. I ask that because when I'm watching any game, whoever's playing, it's, is there a shooter? Like a case yeah, say to no. me, if, if I wasn't watching Nebraska, but if I wasn't a Nebraska fan and I was watching Nebraska and I saw Casey shoot, that would be something that jumped out at me. Yeah, no question. He's definitely a weapon. And, and uh, he's, a lot of teams are going to chase him and, and uh, try not to let him get shots off. But you're right. There's always a guy or two out there that you have to take away, you know, their strengths. And, you know, this league is so well scouted. I've heard, you know, so well coached. Uh, that um, you know, night in and night out, teams are gonna teams are gonna be prepared and ready to go. So uh, you're right. You know, shooting is in this league uh, is a premium, and so uh, always always good to have some of those guys on your side. C.J. Wilter, three for six against Florida State as well, and he had told me one of the things he really wanted to do. He didn't want to just rely on his three point shot this year. How much has that part of his game evolved? He seems to be not settling all the time for the three-point. Right, yeah, and I think his role just increased a little bit more to where it was not just a catch-and-shoot guy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, teams, you know, with the pressure that they put on Sam, uh, you know, once Blaze or, you know, the guys that have gotten the, you know, the catch, they've really tried to deny those guys. So in screening actions, he's been able to get a little bit of advantage and, and uh, you know, keep the advantage off the dribble. And he's finished. It's one of the things that Coach talked to him about in the summers. You know, his field goal percentage at the rim last year, I believe, was like 70% when he got there. And so he, he finished at a very, very efficient rate at the rim, even though he's not a guy that's above the rim and finishing. He just, you know, he gets the advantage and he keeps it. And, and so, yeah, we, we want to get CJ, you know, doing a little bit more. That way, you know, he keeps teams out of rhythm and, and um, you know, been very pleased with how he's gotten to the rim and finished uh, so far in the games we've had. I should have looked this up before we started, but out of all of your games, you've had multiple different leading scores. What does that do for a team and how much does this – is this a team okay with whoever it is on any given night? Oh, for sure. Yeah, you know, your last question, Pete. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a great group of kids that, you know, just worry about winning. And, um, you know, and some nights it'll be CJ's night. Some nights it'll be Derek's night. Some nights it'll be Sam's night, you know. And that's the, the good part about the way this roster's uh, constructed is, you know, if you, like you said, you look for a shooter. And so if you try to take away that one thing, those are some other guys that can do things as well. And, and uh, having an unselfish group like we've got, you know, and, and having a guy like Derek that, you know, we can run through and it's, you know, it's hard to, uh, hard to game plan for just one part of it. And, uh, um, you know, so there'll be that, you know, and we've got multiple guys averaging double figures and, and uh, uh, those guys are, are having a lot of fun playing with each other. Yeah, so I'm looking it up here. It looks like, yeah, out of the, what, seven games, you've had five different guys that have yeah. led the way. So that's, that's pretty impressive. And it's, it's fun to watch, too, when guys – it might not be going for one guy and somebody will step up and it's it's their night. Yeah, and we've seen that with KC and CJ and Sam and all those guys. And so, um, you know, we've got, a, we've got a group of guys that aren't afraid of the moment and they've, they've uh, for the most part, have delivered, you know, when they've, when they've been asked to and – and, uh, you know, we've got a lot of different weapons, and, and you got to have that in this league. How about Sam knocking down a couple big threes back-to-back? -back? Yeah. The, crowd, the bench went crazy for that. Right. You know, and, and, and Coach told him, you know, before the game, look, man, I don't care if you make them or not, but you've got to take them. You know, a lot of his, you know, usage was at the rim and in the paint, and so it's great to see him. And, a lot, and again, you know, a lot of that had to do with Derek, you know, and, and just teams being able to – not just sit on those guys and pressure and deny, you know, they've, you know, when Derek's got it at the elbow or at the top of the key and he can go drive, you know, one-on-one -on -one from the top, well, then teams have to, you know, adjust to what we're doing and shrink the floor. And so Sam will get more of those catch and shoot opportunities. And he's definitely a guy we want taking those, you know, because he's got the ability to make shots and, and, and be very, very efficient in it. We just got to find a way to keep getting him some and, and have him confident enough to take them. All right, time for another break here on our Nebraska men's basketball show. Dorothy Lynch, home style and light and lean dressing, endless flavor abilities. Can 402-413-2400 if you want to be a part of the show. We got more with Adam Howard coming up right after this. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. 
because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. So when do you think you'll be done with our kitchen renovation? Uh, well, ma'am, the Italian marble countertops will take a while to get in. No problem. In the meantime, you can start on the spiral staircase. Um, uh, what? If you win Mega Millions from the Nebraska Lottery with a jackpot that starts in the millions in drawings Tuesdays and Fridays, you can afford to go a little mega. Um, so you want us to build a spiral staircase? Well, how else are we supposed to get up to the helipad? Oh, good. My husband's home. Top prize odds, one in 302 million. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With the simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. At Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. Crossover dribble, takes it down the lane line, shot swatted out of bounds. Blocked out of bounds by Blaze Cato, who's had one heck of a first half. God, John Cook would have been proud of that one. That was a volleyball spike. Blaze Cato rotating over to block Sherfield shot, but that was good defense, too, by Tomonaga. Hey, Huskers fans, tomorrow, Nebraska men's basketball hosts Boston College at the PBA. Kent Pavelka and Jake Muehlheisen take to the airwaves at 7 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. I'm the warmest too. I'm so glad we called SOS before the coldest got here. I'm always the coldest. SOS to the rescue. Hey, this is the coldest Crawford. If your house is the coldest, call SOS Heating and Cooling. Their takes don't make commissions, so they give you an honest opinion, fair pricing, and longer warranties than a competition guaranteed. Don't be like me in the winter. Take it from the coldest. SOS to the rescue. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So now you know who you're talking to, Toyota the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> think again. Toyota hybrids. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY 2000 through 2021 sales. 
Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more acres. Solutions for every field. Got a couple more segments left of our Nebraska men's basketball show. Jessica Cootie here with Adam Howard. You have talked a lot about rebounding tonight. You've said it a lot, and I know Coach Hoiberg said it a lot. It's been a big emphasis. How do you get, um, what goes into that? You know, you say win the rebounding battle. I mean, how do you win that every night? What goes into that? Yeah, just being the most physical team. You know, I think it starts with that, you know, and, um, you know, limiting to, to second chance opportunities, obviously, um, you know, and just making sure your guys understand how important it is, um, you know, night in and night out. Like, you know, you're playing against good defenses every night. We're down in Florida, top 50 defense every night that we saw, you know, just, getting quality shots so that you know when you go down on the other end you know if you give them uh second and third opportunities it's going to be hard to win just because everything goes in you know it's not just getting a rebound it's it's the other parts of it as well but just making sure our guys understand that you know the physicality that it, that it takes to to win ball games and and um you know just how important it is to get get one shot at the rim and and then go play offense, you know? And so you don't have to beg guys to, to run the floor hard and, and uh, you know, to play offense at the pace you need. They, that's, they'll do that on their own, but, you know, coaches kind of have to get the, the physicality and, and uh, you have to get your point across in the film room and, and uh, you know, between the lines every day when you're on the court, it's something that has to be there every day. I was going to say, is it something where you can point out in film, like, hey, on this possession, this is where you guys weren't physical enough? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, there's there's several moments. You know, guys get tired. We get it. You know, guys are playing 30 minutes a night. You're gonna they're gonna have some uh, situations and instances where you know they just uh, we can't get them out. We got somebody at the scores table for them, but they're just tired. You know, and they take a possession off, but or they just go. You know, but they go with one hand. You know, it's not just being physical. It's rebounding with two hands and. We had some we had some clips in in uh, Florida of guys going with one hand for rebounds against teams like Memphis, and you got to go with two to secure it. So it definitely you know it's it's a habit that you build every single day, but you definitely reinforce them uh, through film for sure. One of the other things that you guys have put a big emphasis on, and it's tracking for the team, is is drawing charges. Yeah. And I know Blaze was leading the way throughout preseason, and we've seen him take a couple big charges. How about the big guy being willing to to get on the floor? Yeah, Blaze has been he's led us in that category all year long you know and a big emphasis of it for even for us comes from we don't necessarily have a rim protector so we've got guys that need to be paint protectors you know mm -hmm. and so the way our defense is designed we typically have somebody right there uh, as what we call our MIG most important guy who's under the basket that protects the paint for us there and and uh, you've got to be willing to you know if you can't block shots you got to be willing to give your body up and and so but uh, Blaze has been uh, in his minutes um, you know, defensively, he's been phenomenal, you know, uh, and so uh, part of that is, you know, him being in the right spot. Part of it is him being seven feet, uh, you know, which helps as well, just kind of clogging it up. But he is uh, a very, very unselfish kid and, and a guy that um, gives his body up uh, as, as good as anybody I've seen at his size. A lot of guys that tall would just want to swat. Yeah. Swat balls when they come in there and, and try to block shots, but yeah. the, the fact that he's so willing to, to take uh, sacrifice himself for the team, I, I I love watching that too. Yeah, he's been great, and um, you know our, our guys really appreciate it. You can see the bench do it when he how excited they get for him when he does take a charge, and and he's always in the right spots, and we're happy to have Blaze, and he's he's coming along great. What about the flopping rule? What's your thought on that? Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> you put me in a tough spot. I don't know if I can comment on it. But it, it's, um, you know, I get it. They're trying to clean up some of the stuff, um, you know, and sometimes they get it right, sometimes they don't. You know, we've had one or two go against us where, you know, it's it's either a block or a charge. It's not a flop. And, and uh, you know, they'll get it right. You know, we're able to send those clips in where we say, hey, give us a little bit of an explanation on this and why was this a flop? And 
should have been a charge and and uh and so um you know i think it's something you know they're just trying to get the flop out of the game you know offensively and defensively and uh, it'll be a work in progress and uh, we'll see where it goes from here all right got to take our final break here coming up next we're going to preview got a couple of big games coming up for nebraska men's basketball we're, we're going to talk all about that got um Big one on Sunday, by the way, Creighton at Creighton. So uh, we will preview that. So keep it right here on our Nebraska men's basketball show. The Sports Nightly Hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Back to wrap up with the show coming up right after this. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. There's a call on the field for a quality seed specific to where you farm. Make the right call with Prairie Valley. With local research in eight regions throughout Nebraska, Prairie Valley performs with their locally specific hybrids and varieties while achieving the highest quality and yield. No matter where you farm in Nebraska, Prairie Valley has the seed for where you are. Find a local dealer and learn more about the seed for where you are at prairievalleyseeds.com. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. So, when do you think you'll be done with our kitchen renovation? Uh, well, ma'am, the Italian marble countertops will take a while to get in. No problem. In the meantime, you can start on the spiral staircase. Um, uh, what? If you win Mega Millions from the Nebraska Lottery with a jackpot that starts in the millions in drawings Tuesdays and Fridays, you can afford to go a little mega. Um, so you want us to build a spiral staircase? Well, how else are we supposed to get up to the helipad? Oh, good. My husband's home. Top prize odds, one in 302 million. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Welcome back to our final segment here of our Nebraska men's basketball show with Adam Howard. Well, you guys got a uh, tough three-game stretch. You just came off of a tough tournament and no rest for the weary, right? But got Boston College up first. What have you guys seen out of them? Yeah, uh, another, you know, ACC opponent, high major mm -hmm. opponent. They've got really good guard play. Um, they're really tough. They, they really defend. They play extremely hard. They've got a top 50 defense, which kind of seems like it's been the theme, you know, in all our games that we're playing right now. But uh, um, they run a ton of stuff offensively. Um, they're tough. They're physical. And again, like I mentioned, they've got uh, really good guard play in, in their bigs, their front line. Uh, can stretch it and shoot it uh, at both spots, so uh, we'll have to be uh, we'll have to be locked in and put together a full 40 minutes. It'll be it'll be a, a great game and a quality opponent. So Boston College is coming up tomorrow, and Coach Hoiberg talked about this too. How big is it to protect the home court? How much 
you guys stress that to the guys this year? Yeah, you know, with, with who we got to play and where we're going, you know, in league, home court advantage is uh, to protect home court is, is everything. You know, we've got we've to play well at home. We've got to win our home games, and, and our guys are very aware of that. And it's something we've talked to them quite a bit, and we get a great opportunity to do that to, tomorrow night. I know you guys won't look too far ahead, but you're the coach, so I can ask you, how about Creighton on Sunday? What have you heard about that rivalry? <laughs> uh, you know, I've heard it gets pretty crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, heard it'll be, I heard it'll be a wild game, a lot of fans, and uh, um, they've obviously got a great ball club, and Coach McDermott and his staff do an unbelievable job. So we have a ton of respect for them. Um, but, uh, you know, being honest, I don't know a lot about them just yet. We've had a lot going on. I know. I know they're ranked really high and, and, and probably rightfully so and deserving. But uh, um, after we put this one behind us tomorrow night, we'll get we'll get uh, we'll get prepared for that. We'll take a day off Thursday and and then uh, get prepared uh, later in the week. Yeah. How do you guys go about attacking games when you have multiple games in a week and a big opponent like Creighton? Is it something where you just focus on Boston College, all in on Boston College and then move on to Creighton? Yeah, absolutely. You know, without question, we'll put everything in the in the in the Boston College. Uh, coming back uh, Sunday night, we, we started getting prepared um, on the plane ride back after Florida State. We put that one behind us, and uh, we did a little bit of a cleanup film work from Florida State, and then uh, move on to Boston College. And, and once that one's over with, we'll, we'll have uh, we'll meet together as a staff and, and put together you know a game plan. And then Friday, uh, it, depending on what you know the week looks like and what are you know what we're coming off of, but we'll take a day off on Thursday, give the guys a, a chance to recover from the Orlando trip and then coming back, having a quick turnaround with Boston College. And then uh, Friday, we'll get rolling. We'll get ready to prepare for Creighton. How's this team gone about approaching the game planning and being in the film room and all of that? Oh, they're great. You know, it's I think a lot of these guys, have, like we've talked about, have, you know, have experienced winning at other places as well, the transfers we've added. Uh, and so, you know, they understand the importance of it. And, you know, our guys, uh, that we have returning, do you know? Under you know, obviously know Coach Hoiberg and the way they prepare, uh, night in and night out. So they've been awesome. You know, they've come in and and um, you know do a great. Our scout, our scout team does a as good of a job as they possibly can to prepare us. And so it, it's from the staff to the to the scout team to our players. They've done a really really good job executing what we need to do. And 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 so our guys are always in there, you know, watching a little extra film, you know, and, and doing whatever they can to get, you know, the best prepared as possible. I've said this a few, a few times. How beneficial is it to have a guy like Sam Hoiberg on the scout team? Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> you know, Sam's, Sam's a really good player and a competitive kid. And uh, when he is out there, he is, he, he is trying, he gives us the best look as we, we we'd ask for. I mean, he's, he's a great kid and, and, and uh, takes it really serious and, and uh, one of the most competitive people I have ever been around. Really? And so, yeah, our guys, you know, he gives them a great look. And, and every night, he's, every week, he's getting to be, you know, the other team's best player, best shooter. And so he takes it serious and uh, he gets our guys prepared as, as well as the rest of our uh, scout team right now. Probably understands too pretty well what his, his dad uh, wants to get done in a practice too, right? Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. There's Who no on this team, I mean, there's probably a few of them, most likely would be a coach. You know, that's a good question. Um, you know, I, I think I could, you could see a coaching um, career in Derek's path. He's great with kids. Obviously, you know, the thing he, he held this summer for special needs, I mean, that's just Derek's heart. He, you know, he loves being around kids and loves being around uh, people. I could see CJ being around the game. Uh, Sam Greasel, if he wanted a coach, would make a heck of a coach. Bandamel is awesome. Gary, I mean, this whole crew, I think they're all going to be around the game at some point, some fashion for the rest of their lives. That's what I was going to say. It seems like there could be a, a number of guys, but I didn't know if there was one in particular that, that really stood out. All right, well, Again, big week coming up for you guys. Best of luck. Thank you so much for spending some time with us here tonight. I appreciate it. Yep. Thanks for having me. All right. That is Adam Howard with Nebraska men's basketball. Again, coming up, Boston College tomorrow night, 8-15. We'll have the call for you right here on the Huskers Radio Network with Jake and Kent. And then at Creighton on Sunday, 3.30 up in Omaha. So we will have both games for you here on the Huskers Radio Network with Jake and Kent. All right. That's going to wrap up. This Nebraska men's basketball show for Adam Howard. I'm Jessica Cootie. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for listening. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
Blonstein just got an ace. She sends another one over. Backpedaling. Hinkle the libero. Guides it through her center. Quick attack. Amaya Jones blocked. Pick Alec. My goodness. Leaping in front, two-handing that one home, and the Huskers are up 18-14. Hey, Huskers fans, this Thursday, Nebraska Volleyball begins their NCAA postseason with a matchup against Delaware State. John Baylor and Lauren Cook-West have the call at 6.30 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. It's the Ford Shine Bright sales event, and Ford is helping you be a light for others this holiday season. Right now, get special offers on select Ford trucks and SUVs. Come in and choose a vehicle in stock, or simply place a custom order, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Hurry in to your local Ford dealer today and find the Ford vehicle that helps you shine bright all season long. Not all models, trims, or features may be available or may be subject to change. Here's to the locals. Raised right here in the Western Corn Belt. The strong ones. We help them grow stronger. Making world-class genetics, research, and technology local. The cutting-edge yet common-sense agronomy. The shake em up yields. Because we're born and raised here, too. And we'll keep raising the bar to ensure you only get the best at Hogemeyer. Raised local. Raised right here. Learn more at therightseed.com. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. 